Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a mixed media art journal page in my handmade mini travels notebook insert. I shared the making of this mini travels notebook journal in one of my past videos and I will link this up in the top right corner info box so you can check that out and make your own mini travelers notebook. I start by sticking down some old book papers to the background of this journal page just to create some texture and interest. I also used some washi tape and here I'm sticking down pieces of a design paper. It's not so important which um, images or which motifs are on your papers. Uh, more interesting is the texture you get and maybe also the colors. I'm using a glue stick to adhere the papers. Of course you can also use gel medium. I'm using the gel when I know I go on top with a lot of wet medium. I'm blending the background together with a little bit of white gesso. As the Liquitex Basic Gesso is very transparent, I'm adding another layer and I add some areas with a thicker layer to get more white parts. While my gesso is drying, I'm coloring in the main image I want to use and here I have stamped um, one of my doodle flower stamps to watercolor paper and I just color it in very quickly with watercolors. As always, I have linked up all the stamp sets I've used in the video description and you will also find a link to my blog where you can have a look at the close-up images. My gesso is dry and I want to create some more texture on the background and therefore I'm using some background stamps together with a Kyla ink. The color I'm using here was saffron, I believe. I want to create kind of a border around the page using some border stamps and I think I also use a circular stamp later. Unfortunately my Stazon ink pad that I'm using here is almost dried out 
and it's so hard to get a reinker here in Germany. I'm using different mixed media stamps to increase the interest on the background. I'm adding some color to my background using the Stabilo Woodies and I believe I also use the Neo Color Crayons and I just want to create a lovely rainbow colored background. I'm blending the woodies with a little bit of water in my fingers. Of course you don't need to have the woodies to create such a page, you can do this with any other water soluble crayon. I wanted to create some pink splatters so I'm scribbling the color to the glass plate and mix it with some water to create the splatters. And I do the same with the woodies. When the background is dry, I decided to add some more stamping to the frame of my page. Here I'm creating kind of a bottom for the flower to sit on and I just use a piece of old book paper.
and I also just use the glue stick to adhere it to the page. So decided to add some more of the washi tape. Here I'm adding some black splatters and I have just used the crayon scribbled to the glass plate and then mixed with water. I also decided I need to intensify the frame around the page and so I go around with the woody and then I will blend it in with some water. The black frame around the page makes the colorful background pop up even more. For the title of the page, I'm stamping the word dream to one of my leftover background papers. I have cleaned up my tools and smeared some leftover paint to it. And I just cut out the letters and adhere them to my spread. I highlight the letters with a white gel pen. Finally, I'm adhering the flower to the page. And that's my finished spread. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you will see us next time. Have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye!